I gonna do about Finn? Try talking to her again? I could meet her somewhere. The Science Center or Trinity Church? No. She knows I lied to her now. She won't want to see me. <sighs> Menace. You were here, Dad. Apps picked up another crime. Weapon steal. Figure this all out. Real Dinner way too early. Now what am I gonna do? How you doing tonight, Spider-Man? Spider-Man! How you doing tonight? I asked for one thing for Christmas and I said such a waste of time! Spider-Man! Brave man! Marked a robbery for you. The prisoners are holding up a store. I'm gonna go broke. Hey, Pop. 
Pod listeners, this episode is part of my series, Underground Exposed. First time I met Mick, felt like I'd known him my whole life. Hey, kid, keep Why your chin up. Some... I'm with Danica. Spill it. Give me the whole situation. Finn, Roxon, Underground. It's just a lot, you know? You're 17. You're stressed. And you're a superhero. You gotta cut yourself some slack. You still making beats? And not much since I started this. Work-life balance, kid. Most important thing. Here little project your dad and I started back in the day. A mixtape. Had rhymes ready and everything. <laughs> How come I never heard about this? Because we never finished. We sampled street noise around the way. Wanted the city to be our beat. But your dad had the masters. And after things went bad between us... <sighs> but you can finish what we couldn't. Plus, it'll take your mind off work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what do I do? Load that up. I'll walk you through it. I set up holograms to guide you. Scan the source. Holograms, huh? You still in my moves? <laughs> this was in my playbook before you were even born, young blood. Okay, don't think about Finn. Focus on sounds. Clear my head. Scan the holograms, and it'll unlock files on that drive I gave you. Help you figure out which sound you're looking for. Now try and find the original sound, and grab a clean sample.
rest of the sounds you need are spread across the city. I left a few messages for you, too, to help you get a feel for each location. Oh, dope. Hmm. Not now. Hey, get some you like? Yeah, really unique dynamics. See? Old man still knows his stuff. And you were right about clearing my head, too. I know what to do about Finn. I gotta see her. Try to talk her out of all this. In person? Where? Trinity Church. Tomorrow night. Why so interested? Because you got a target on your back the size of Jersey. You don't have to protect me. Someone should. You know, you said you never finished this tape because of how things went bad between you and Dad. What actually happened between you two? It was complicated. We were too similar and too different. <sighs> Finish the tape, get all the samples, and you'll hear the whole story. Promise. All right. Thanks, Unc. Trinity Church. Remember, Tinker is yours, but leave the boy alone. Man, I needed that. I was beat. Okay, I'm gonna call Finn. Soon as I'm ready to go. Hard to think of Ma as a little kid. A little music would be nice. Never gonna get tired of this one. Should have paid more attention when Abuela was teaching me to dance. Gotta ask Uncle Aaron where he got this.
You should be attacking the young, unproved vigilante who keeps causing problems in Harlem. What? You, you twist everything Spider-Man does into something malicious while simultaneously excusing everything Roxxon does wrong. All Spider-Man needs for you to support him is to get a better PR department. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. The only problem Spider-Man fixes are the ones he causes. I won't praise the arsonist for putting out his fire. Meanwhile, Roxxon built a beautiful plaza in a failing neighborhood. By tearing down homes and businesses, our new Spider-Man is proving that Harlem isn't the failure Roxxon makes it out to be. And you, Mr. Jameson, for someone who claims to love New York, you sure do seem to hate New Yorkers. You are clearly emotional, young lady, so I'm invoking the mercy rule on this debate. Jared, shut it down! And whose idea was it to debate a teenager? There are no good optics to destroying a child! Get the car! I need a hot stone massage! Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for the debate that you demanded, Mr. Jameson. To everyone else, remember to stand up every half hour while working at a computer. Your dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. It's got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when dad and uncle Aaron were little. I'm not gonna find it over here. Hmm. Huh. There's a subway line near here. I think it's back there. Oh my god. All right, all right. Time to call Finn. Hope she answers. Hi, Spider Man. Finn. This one's rhythmic. Comes on a schedule. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when Dad and Uncle Aaron were with us. Pretty sure it's behind me. Not this way. There's a subway line near here. Tomorrow night, I'll bring the kids. Gotta run. Yeah, that's it. You probably don't know this, but your dad and I grew up not far from here. Before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop. Always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space alien. Your dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help people. Yeah, sounds like dad. All right, time to call Finn. Hope she answers. Hi, Spider-Man. Finn, hey, we need to talk. In person. So you can lie to me again? So I can make this right. Please, meet me at Trinity Church. No more lies. I promise. If you're screwing with me, fine. I'll see you there. At least she's willing to meet. OK, Trinity Church, let's go. Your mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. Maybe that water tower. If it's got a leak and I can get close enough, Nice. Yeah, it 
subtle, but a good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself a prop. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. Couldn't last, though. Your dad's job and mine crossed paths too often. Man, Uncle Aaron, if you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? Uh... Hmm. Probably something you'd always find here. Not this way. Maybe, but it's probably too quiet to work well. There's a lot of birds around here. Maybe? Probably something you'd always find here, like birds or trees or... No, no, not trees. Probably something you'd always find here, like birds or trees or... No, no, not trees. There's a lot of birds around here, maybe? Dad, record this. Was he a pigeon whisperer? This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. The place was swarming with pigeons. Dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's some music. Listen. The next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the ear for music. This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. Has to be the fire alarm. Gotta get close. Pretty sure it's behind me. Has to be the fire alarm. 
Gotta get close. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea really to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. He wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. He did make things better, Dad. And so will I. someone in the crowd here or lose them sound you need like an electric current a current i could cheat it with venom <laughs> nah i'm not gonna find it over here i think it has to be that flag the neon one up to good work, new guy. behind me. <sighs> Maybe like a billboard or a sign? back there. Nah, getting too far away. how alive that feels. After I started calling myself a problem, then my first client right under this sign. Neon flag's hard to miss, and the crowd makes it easy to blend in. So he wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square, 
you saw your dad looking back at you. He never said anything. Just turned and left. He didn't know everything. Just that I was a thief. So that was enough. I think he saw where you were headed long before I did. If he would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. feels like someone celebrating, even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so, too, so he had to include it. A sound that tells time. Okay. Said it sounded like a celebration. That's it. Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony, so I met him here after. Bought us milkshakes. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying. But he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. Man, things got complicated between them. and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. I think I saw some wind chimes. If I can get close enough. Watch it! Pretty sure it's behind me. Why do I ever die in this city? 
sun is bright. Wow, it's quite a pair of sunglasses. Probably something you don't usually hear in the city. So why spiders? People like cats more. How do we turn these clothes without my sister finding out? I got a motor for man. By me, it was so cool to see in person. Sun is nice. I'm ready. Well, what's the matter with you? Wind chimes. That sounds good. This plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. God paid me to mother the boss. Rup took everything in his walk. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. You deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and Dad would have stayed close. I can't imagine ever turning my back on my family. client I always met here. Got real used to waiting. Listen, hearing this sound running on a Schedule. The sound on a schedule. The fairy has to be. I need to get in close enough to record that horn.
of something on a schedule. Whoa, literate fairy horns. That's right. The client I met here used to take the ferry over from Jersey. Work for him with good money. But it got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, that a thief was making it big in New York. And your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him. But he caught me. That'd be me. I... I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't Dad. Hey, young blood. You got almost everything you need for the trap. You just unlocked the spot where you can find the last piece. Hope it works for you. Spot in Harlem. I wonder what the last piece is. Subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. Whoa! I'm kind of jealous of his lair. The lab. The basement thing. Uncle Aaron's got tabs all over the city. He must have been building his network for years. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my suit patching skills from Uncle Aaron. Sequencer? Sampler? Vintage? Oh, has to be him and Dad's equipment. He used to come to our place for dinner all the time. Guess he never learned to cook. Use the sounds. Lock? Something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the prowler. It led him to my clients. People like Simon Krieger, Wilson Fisk. Dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hoped he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like that. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. <laughs> <laughs> 